My name is Shirako Yamamoto. I'm 28 years old and I'm a full-time housewife. My husband Takeshi is working as an office worker and we've been living in a small, monthly rent apartment. But my husband suddenly announced this after my father-in-law passed away just a few days ago. Jadako, I've got something to ask you. Uh, do you have some time? Hmm? What is it? Well, my mom's living all by herself in my childhood home ever since my dad passed away, right? Yeah. And I'm an only child, and my mom's already getting on in age, so I was wondering if we can go and live with her. What? But you already promised we wouldn't have to do that, remember? We spoke about this before we got married. We decided that it would be just the two of us for five years after our marriage. I love your mom, and she's really good to me. She's the best mother-in-law I could hope for, but... It's only been two years since we got married, and I want to enjoy our time together for a little longer. Well, I understand that, but don't you think that it's stupid to pay rent every month for such a small apartment? If we live with my mom, we'll have more space, and we don't even have to pay the rent. Think about it, we can save all the money we put into this rent and spend it on ourselves. We could save thousands in the space of a year. Well, yeah, but... We could even go on holiday with all the money that we save. You were saying that you wanted to go on a trip abroad too, right? I... a trip abroad? Do you mean you're finally taking me on the trip I've been begging you for years? To Hawaii? Yeah, of course. Let's save up and go on a trip together to Hawaii. Just you and me. Hmm... Just like that, my husband had managed to convince me to move into his mother's home and live with her in her three-bedroom house. I was reluctant about it in the beginning, but after living in my in-law's house for a while, I realized that it wasn't as bad as I imagined it would be. For starters, it was much more comfortable than the one-bedroom apartment we had been living in up until then. It was much more spacious and had so many more rooms. Our stuff didn't feel like it was cluttering our room, which made everything feel so much better. I felt a little nervous because my mother-in-law was always home but I was relieved to see that she was just as kind as she usually was. Then, a few weeks after moving in, I saw my husband off to work just like any other day and was having breakfast with my mother-in-law when that suddenly began. Oh, this is too salty. How do you expect me to drink this? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I accidentally put too much salt in it? Hmm, but I don't think it tastes bad. What's wrong with your sense of taste? I'd better make it clear to you right now. I've been very patient with you these past few weeks, but I can't take it anymore. You're terrible at cooking. Huh? You really think that? I guess I'd better teach you how to do things properly. Let's start with the miso soup. My late husband had high blood pressure, so I've always prepared meals with a reduced amount of salt. I've raised Takeshi on that diet too, ever since he was small. I can't believe you can serve miso soup with such a salty flavor. Are you trying to kill me off with your terrible cooking? Uh, of course I'm not trying anything like that. Are you really sure? Then how do you usually prepare the broth for the soup? I use a packet of dashi granules from the supermarket. You what? Honestly, I can't believe young people nowadays. What? Is it that surprising? A normal person would prepare the broth from scratch. In our house, it's customary that we take the time to prepare the broth using the best Bonito flakes. But I don't have time to do that every single morning. Why not? Just wake up earlier than you do right now, at 4 or 5 for example. That early? Do you really expect me to drink this half-hearted attempt at miso soup? This rubbish? God, no. Saying that, my mother-in-law poured the entire pot of miso soup down the drain. It really was a shocking sight to see. Of course, I had never cut corners when it came to preparing our meals. I was only thinking of my mother-in-law's health when I prepared miso soup, making sure to change the ingredients every day so that she would have a balanced diet. For the main portion, I would prepare meat, fish, something different for every single meal. Besides, my husband had never complained about my cooking or about the way I did the housework before. It just made me wonder why she was upset all of a sudden. I thought that we were getting on pretty well, but obviously not. Then, ever since that day, my mother-in-law's attitude towards me completely changed. 
She began to make comments about every little thing I did. At first, I just endured all of the verbal abuse and did what she said, but as time went by, I couldn't handle it anymore and started complaining about her too. Ugh, she's such a pain in the ass. Why can't she take a little more care with the way she says things? I never even knew that she and Takeshi had been living on a salt-free diet. How could I know that? And is she serious about making me wake up at the crack of dawn to prepare miso soup? I don't have time for that. She's living off her pension, so why doesn't she just do it herself? Besides, the granules you can buy at the supermarket are just as delicious as making it from scratch. Don't underestimate the effort that businesses make, old woman. Chiraco? Uh, yeah? Who on earth were you talking to? Uh, no, I was just rapping. Rapping? It's very popular nowadays, but I don't think you'd be interested. Anyway, is something wrong? I just saw the washing and noticed. You're not doing anything to get rid of the wrinkles, are you? Oh, uh, yeah. You've got to give the clothes a good shake before putting them out to dry, or they'll stay wrinkled. Oh no, this is my favorite blouse. What have you done? My late husband bought this for me. It was so important to me, and now look at it. Is something the matter? My blouse is torn, look! What? How did you wash this blouse, Chiraco? I put it in the washing machine with everything else. You what? What were you thinking? Don't you understand that clothes like these need to be hand washed? It's completely different from the cheap items you wear and can throw into the laundry. Not only that, I have so many memories with this blouse. I really hate to say this, but maybe you shouldn't put something delicate like that in the laundry basket. And you never mentioned that this blouse needed to be hand washed, even though you knew that I'm doing all the laundry. It's laundry, so of course I'd put it in the laundry basket. You're the one who needs to ask me if it can go into the washing machine when sorting through the clothes before doing the laundry. Why do I have to do that? Excuse me? We're letting you live here, you know. You should be happy to do that for me, and you're a grown adult. You should be able to decide whether something needs to be hand-washed or not. It's common sense. It was true that neither Takeshi nor I were paying the rent, so I couldn't argue back to that. But I decided to swallow back all of the complaints I had and didn't have any other choice but to apologize. I'll take care not to do it again. Also, the collar of this shirt is still dirty, Sharako. Where? I, I can't see. Look, here. It looks fine to me. Are you blind? Look at it properly. Here. It's stained. I don't think anything can be done about that anymore. If it really bothers you, then I can take it to be cleaned tomorrow. You're going to take it to the dry cleaners? What a waste. Just wash it again yourself. Go on. If you say so, I couldn't take her bullying any longer, so I spoke to Takeshi before we went to bed that night. Hey, your mom's been really horrible to me recently. <sighs> Can't you try and get along with her? I'm already tired from going to work. I don't want to get caught up in your troubles with my mom. What? Are you being serious? But it's true, it's none of my business, it's your problem. But she's your mom! You're the only one that can fix this! So what if she's my mom? I'll bet that she's just trying to teach you how to do the chores properly because you're so bad at housework. It's a good chance, so why don't you be a little more humble and learn what you can from her? What did you say? Since when have you felt that way? Oh, whatever. Let's talk about this some other time. Good night. H hey wait a minute! Oh, yeah, before I forget to tell you, I'm gonna resign from work. What? what What are you talking about? I've always felt that I don't really like my job. They just don't understand me. What? What, what are we going to do for money? We haven't had to pay for the rent or for electricity and stuff since we moved in with my mom. If I just tell her that I resigned from work, I'm sure she'll pay for our grocery bills and stuff too. What? We can't do that. Her complaining will only get worse if we rely on her for more money. She'll take it out on me. But she already said that she's fine with it. Wait. What? You spoke to her about resigning before talking to me about it? You didn't even give me a heads up, and you told her? What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm sorry. 
So where are you going to work next? I'll take my time and look for another place. Good night. You're kidding, right? I've had nothing but trouble ever since we moved into this house. My husband refused to help me with dealing with his mother, which only worsened my mental state. And my mother-in-law's teachings only got worse by the day, and she would bully me over the smallest things. Hey, Chiraka, what are you doing? This is still dirty. Oh, really? Where? Look, can't you see? It's filthy. Huh? Look, there's a hair on the floor. Just a hair? <laughs> What, do you think this is funny? No, not really. And what about this shelf? Oh, it's covered in dust. <laughs> but look at this amount of dust. It looks like this shelf hasn't been cleaned for a very long time. For half a year? No, perhaps more than a year. Oh, then that means that it's been dirty since way before I moved in. What? Are you trying to say that I've never cleaned this shelf myself? No, of course not. I'm just stating the truth that it hasn't been cleaned for a while. Oh, really? Then what about the area behind the refrigerator? Have you cleaned it? Oh, goodness. It's covered in dust, too. Oh, that's just going overboard. How am I supposed to reach behind there? I need to move the fridge before I can clean that. Then move the refrigerator and clean it. What are you going to do if Takeshi and I get sick from all this dust? There's no need to overreact. You won't get sick from just a little dust. You were saying that you wanted to teach me how to cook and clean, and yet it feels like you're just looking for things to whine and moan about. I can't believe you. You're just being lazy because this isn't your own house, aren't you? How exactly? Oh, you've been annoying me ever since you moved in here with me. You're just a parasite, Chiraco. Understand? Getting annoyed about something so fickle must be because you're getting old. And if you don't like the way I do things, then how about you do everything yourself? I don't mind. How could you be so cheeky? Fine, I know what I have to do. As she said that, she headed over to the sink and began filling a bucket with water. When I saw what she was doing, I felt a little guilty for saying something so harsh, but there was no need for me to be so kind to this horrible old woman. Hey, wh what are you doing? Ah, my clothes and the floor is soaked. I just thought that I should start by cleaning the dirtiest thing in the house. Parasite, you're filthy, so you need cleaning. Oh, is that so? I'm going to go up for lunch. I want this mess cleaned up by the time I get back. Understood? Ugh, I hate her. I hate this place. Why do I have to endure this treatment? I would spend the entire day being told off unreasonably by my mother-in-law, and my husband wouldn't even listen to what I had to say when I asked him for help. After a while, I had finally reached my limit, and I could no longer bear the stress. So I decided to take a day off and meet with a friend that lives nearby to get a breath of fresh air. I've been going to the same school as Sakiko ever since we were in elementary, and we've managed to stay best friends all this time. I really needed to talk to someone about the problems I was facing, so I called Sakiko up to go out for coffee. Hey, take a look at this. Huh? All I see is the floor. Right? But there's one hair here, and that's why she was upset. Over one lousy hair. Seriously? I can't believe you're actually enduring all of that, Chiraco. Oh, I wish I could get a divorce and leave that house. I've had enough. But if I get a divorce now, it's going to be tough for me to get a job right now. I'm too worried that no one will employ me. If that's the case, then I have a good idea. Sakiko took out her phone and made a call to someone. Hiya, I'm having coffee with a friend right now. I was wondering if you could come to the cafe in front of the station. It sounded like Sakiko was talking about me to the person on the other side of the phone. Then, a little while after she was done with her phone call... Whoa, hey, Cherico, long time no see. What? No way! You're... Ataru? <laughs> My god, you haven't changed one bit. Hey, Sakiko, what's going on? The truth is, we were both part of the hiking circle in college, and we recently met up for the first time in years. What? You're kidding, that's amazing! Yeah, when I went to look at a property, it turned out that it was Ataru's real estate agency. Yeah, guess what? I finally took over my parents' business! I'm a CEO! 
No way! You're a success! Yeah, and I called him because he's currently looking for new employees. Yep, you're absolutely welcome to come and work with me. What? what You really mean that? Yeah, sure. With this, I don't have to worry about money or a job. So, uh, you were saying that you wanted to get a divorce? Uh, yeah. Are you really sure? Yeah, I've had enough of that house with my stupid husband and my stupid mother-in-law. I'm sick of them. All right, gotcha. Then I have a good idea. Listen carefully, Chadako. What? Then, later that night... Hey, I want to talk to you about something. Your mom poured water all over me today. Chadako, I thought I told you I don't want anything to do with your fights with my mom. But you don't think that she's being way too unreasonable? Shut up, I don't care what she does. If you hate my mom that much, then sign these papers. What? Those are divorce papers. I've already filled in my part of the papers. I don't even want to look at you anymore. Every night you do nothing but complain about my mom. Can't you see that I'm tired? Fill in those papers and just hurry up and get out of my house. Alright, I understand. Good morning! Oh, why are you all dressed up? Are you going out? Well, the truth is, I'm actually going to divorce your son. <laughs> oh, divorce? Is that true, Takeshi? Yeah, I've had enough of her complaints. Oh, that's such a shame. But I guess there's no helping it. She's too useless as a wife and daughter-in-law. I'm sorry I was so useless, you old woman. Uh, old woman? What's wrong with you? You're so rude. Hey, Chadako, that's going too far. Apologize. What? I went too far? You don't have any right to expect me to apologize. You're a grown man that's trying to live off of his mother's pension. If you don't find a job and support yourself, you'll be finished as a human being. But I guess that the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Thanks a lot, DNA. You're both a pieces of crap. Well, there is one thing that I'm grateful to you both for. It's that you asked me for the divorce and saved me the trouble. I feel so much better now. <laughs> you really think that you can live without me after getting divorced? That's right. Don't come crying back to us when you realize you can't get a job or find a home. Don't worry about me. Just thinking about how I'll be free from the both of you makes me so happy I could die of laughter. <laughs> Hilarious. Ugh, I've had enough of you, Chariko. Get out and never show your face here again. It was the biggest mistake in my life marrying someone like you. Like that, it was decided that I would leave my husband's house. But this was actually all a part of Ataru's plan to help me get revenge. I was relieved that it was easier than I had expected to get Takeshi to bring up divorce and couldn't wait to commence the next part of the plan. Why, hello, if it isn't Chiraco. Hello. Takeshi, Chiraco's back just like we predicted. Both my ex-husband and his mother couldn't hold back their laugh when they realized that it hadn't even been a week since I had left. The truth is, I've got somebody here with me. Hello, I hope you're having a good day. Oh, this is my business card. Chara Real Estate Agency, what business do you have here at our home? It's been decided that my agency has taken ownership of this property to be sold. But what? What are you talking about? Well, it's my understanding that neither of you own the rights to this house. Is that true, Mom? Uh, oh! That's right. This house actually belongs to a relative of your mother. Their name is on the deed. It's perfect timing since my agency was looking for a property in this area. When I asked your relatives if they would sell it to us, they were delighted about the offer. And they signed the rights over to us. That's how we gained ownership. What? But... I haven't heard anything about that! Ma'am, I heard from your relatives that you haven't been paying your rent for a very long time. They were saying that you were causing them a lot of trouble living here for free. Uh... So I'd like for you to pack up your things and get out of here within the next three days. This property is now our property and we'll be putting it up for rent. Then I'll rent it! That's it! Let us rent this house out! Oh, well, the problem is I've already found someone who wants to live here. What? Who? Hello, that would be me. What? But you couldn't even get a real job. How can you... Oh, well, I found a job with Chara Real Estate Agency. You what? 
In other words, this is going to be like a company apartment. I'm expecting a lot of things from you, Chataco, so this is the least I can do. No way! Taraco, we're going to lose our home! So, so please, let us live with you, please! Uh, yeah, Mom's right, we used to be married! There's no way in hell I'm living with either of you ever again! Hurry up and get your crap out of my home! Hey, Chataco, I've already resigned from my job, okay? What am I supposed to do from now on? Why the hell should I care? Why don't you ask your mommy for help? Oh, and there's something I wanted to tell you. Guess what? It was the biggest mistake of my life marrying someone like you too. Ugh. So goodbye. In the end, Takeshi and his mother ended up being kicked out of their home by me and Ataru. By the way, there was no need for us to split our assets when we got divorced because we didn't have any assets to divide. Embarrassingly enough, we didn't have any savings either. So there was no need to go through a lengthy trial to fight over money. However, over the course of the divorce proceedings, it was agreed that Takeshi and his mother were at fault in the divorce, so I demanded compensation with the help of the lawyer that Ataru introduced me to. My stupid ex-husband and his mother were stuck owing compensation to me and owed thousands in rent they had failed to pay their relatives. They're now living in a small, broken-down apartment, living hand-to-mouth. Ataru found all that out for me when he went to take a look at the place they were living from a neighbor. Hey, Chataco. Oh, I mean, Saiki. <laughs> Don't start calling me by my last name all of a sudden. Shirako's fine. It's been a long time since I was called by my maiden name. Hi, Chataco. Uh, how are your studies? They're going great. Just you wait. I'll get all the certificates I can so that I can be more of help to you and your company. I knew that it would be a good idea to hire you, Chataco. You've always been a hard worker. I would really love that about you. Y you what? My name is Yamamoto too, so how about we get married if you ever miss being called Miss Yamamoto? What do you think? H hey don't tease me like that! <laughs> Alright, let's get back to work. But wait, have I stumbled across my real one true love? <laughs>